Have you ever wondered where to find good quality music for your videos? You don't have to look any further. I have the source for you, I have all the information for you. Sometimes people will recommend you something just to earn a quick buck, but honestly, this is a program that I have used for years. If you don't believe me, I've made a video about this before. You can find that right up here, so you can go check that out. And I've used this program for years. I love it so much. It's called Epidemic Sound, and I use it on all my videos. I use it on everything that I do, basically. If we're just meeting, my name is Caroline Raven. I am a full-time magician and YouTuber. So in this video, I thought I'd walk you along on how to, I find music on Epidemic Sound, how I use it in my program, I use iMovie to edit these videos, and I'm just gonna show you how super duper simple it is. You're gonna absolutely love it when you start using it. Also, if you sign up now, there's a link in the description below where you can get a 30-day free trial, so check that out in the description, you're gonna love it. Just send me a thank you later on. This is a paid collaboration with Epidemic Sound and I could not be happier. For the past years, I've used the same end music for all of my videos. If you go check any of them, you'll see, well, it, not the full show one, that's the one exception, I believe. If you check any other of my videos, I've used the, the same end music every single time. And I use the same one because I want to set a mood. I want people to understand that, oh, okay, now it's ending without saying, now it's over, you know? So people will recognize it and it's kind of like become my brand in a way. So I use that and then I have the black screen. You're gonna see that too if you check any of my videos. And then after that is gonna come the bloopers. They don't only have like mood music. They also have like um, things like this or this. Let's just jump right into Epidemic Sound and see what it is and just follow along and I'll show you exactly how to use this. So this is what you see when you log in, right? This is gonna be... Oh, we don't need this one. Um, this is gonna be your home screen and I've been using this for so many years that now it's so intelligent, like everything it makes sense. So it knows my taste in music, it knows the kind of moods that I've been using in the past, so I probably like all of these for something that I'll be doing. But anyways, let's go up to browse and see see what we can find. We have all of these different moods and we can also sort by, you know, alphabetical order. Let's say we're into let's say we're into drones for some reason. We can see here what they have. You can press play at any given point and the, then it's going to play for you. So let's see here. We open this one. As you see here, you can scroll Another very smart feature that I really like is if you take a look at this, you see here in the beginning, like in the music, like this is how long it is, of course, but then as you see here, it's very low and then it goes more, more like this. I don't have, I don't have the words for this because I'm not a musician, I'm a YouTuber and magician, so for me, just that this exists blows my mind, right? So you're here, you can see where the music actually pumps up, where things happen, or like, you, this is a good example, the mutants. That's when you see it, like, okay, so here is gonna be a low part and then it's gonna go up. Here, listen to this. You can see it, it, it builds. There you go. If you like this song, you just hit download and it will download. You can add to playlist, you can like, you can find similar or you can just copy link. The find similar one is probably my favorite tool to use. So let's say I'm creating a vlog, right? And it's uh, 12 minutes long, I want music for the entire thing. I found this song, The Mutants, that I really like. What I then do is that I go to find similar and Epidemic Sound will understand what that means and it will take me places in the beautiful universe of internet and music to find things that sound the same. It will sound the same or be the same artist or anything like that. We can see different sounds here. You can try this one. Okay, well that's great. So let's say we find a song that we like. I will go up to my saved. I'm gonna download this one. Can't remember which one this is. Oh yeah, I remember now. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna hit download. 
download. All right, and after that, I will go into my iMovie. As you see here, I already have a bunch of different music. This one right here, this is actually my end music. Oh, that's great. Okay, so that's the one I use for ending. Now you're gonna take any clip that you're gonna you're gonna use for, to edit. I'm not gonna edit anything right now. I'm just gonna pull the music down. All right, and then I'm gonna import my music, and it will appear down here. I'll just easily pull it in. Look at that, and then it's here. Listen. There we go. That's how easy it is. And if you want to find anything that is like um, a sound effect, you can find that over here. Let's, okay, footsteps, that's great. Why not? Or you can go to, let's say you want a duck. Rubber duck squeak, that's what you want. Oh, that's great. Oh, that one needs help. I think that's good. All right, if you want that one, you download, download, and then you will import it. All right, you will import it here. There we go. <laughs> that even made sense. <laughs> Let's look at that again. <laughs> I, I might keep that actually. And that's how easy it is to use. And also, how fun was that? I had so much fun. I think most people when they start doing YouTube or creating videos of any sort, I think music is one of the things that they neglect in the beginning. So they start with a camera or something to like record on, then they add a good sound, and then they add some lighting. And, and then after they're comfortable with their editing skills and stuff, that's when they start using the music. But let me just tell you now, it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be expensive. You just go to one site and you're free to use all of the music after you become a member. So again, you have a 30 day free trial. You can try it out and see if it's, it's for you or not. But I promise you, it will be for you. I hope that helps. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. You know, when I be awkward like this, if you've seen the entire video, this is going to make sense to you. Otherwise, why are you still watching? Or my personal favorite one.